How you going, people? Well, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. So <laughs> I figured I'd come up here and get jacked up over these tyrannical, freaking out-of-control cops. Welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. Civil rights lawyer did this video, which this guy's pretty good. He uh, he seems like a pro-constitution, pro-freedom, hold government accountable kind of guy. So uh, does a good job. I'm sure you guys have watched his. A lot of people send me videos from him that he does. Uh, I actually sent him a message. If you guys want to also contact the civil rights lawyer, I'm trying to get him on a live so we can schedule a live. Talk about this case or anything else that you guys want to talk about. Um, and just do a little live with him because he seems he seems like minded and again free American thinking uh, believes in holding government accountable. So this guy got screwed, man. This is such a travesty on this dude on what they put him through. And uh, this guy is also welcome if anybody knows him and he'd like to come on and talk. I'd love to talk to him too and tell him that I'm sorry and maybe just I'll do a whole video on raising money to help with his legal fees. Uh, he got freaking screwed. Uh, flashed his lights. And this kind of bugs me in Texas. I mean, it used to be, when I grew up, it was very Texas-like to flash your lights if there was a cop around a corner to tell people to slow down. Because people worked against the government. People didn't want to see their fellow Texans or their fellow, uh, fellow, uh, fellow citizens getting jammed up and fined and, and all that crap. So, and I still, to this day, flash my lights to warn people. And, um, I mean, I just can't imagine that they pulled this guy over and then arrested him because he laughed. That's because he laughed. This cop ought to be doing jail time for what he did to this citizen. Out freaking rageous. I'm a lot more incensed than, uh, John at the civil rights lawyer guy, but, uh, just outrageous. Watch this. After he and I could take you to jail today for your unsigned registration card. Okay, so right here when I first saw this, I was just like, what's this cop doing? There's already been several rulings that once a cop hands you the ticket, his traffic stop is terminated. Right here, he's handing him the ticket and he changes his mind because he gets offended and this guy laughs. Because the cop wants to threaten him and wants him to bow down I can't tell if he's got this. Is this a little blue line flag? You know, cops are great. We're freaking all wonderful. I can't tell if that is. But anyway, this cop is handing him a ticket. Any court in the land would, not to mention that flashing your lights is not against the law. He wrote him for the wrong freaking section. I mean, when I when I saw him, I go, he misinterpreted the freaking law. He's just changing his shit. It's like, you know, if you litter, there's a littering thing. You won't throw trash on the street. And when you litter, I decide to write you for assault because the wind blew which you littered and hit somebody. So I'm going to charge you with assault. That's kind of what this guy did. He flashed his lights and he wrote him for a section that said you can't have any flashing lights on your vehicle. So when you flashed your lights, you had flashing lights in your vehicle. Just absurd. I could, I was watching this and I'm like, this cop can't be that stupid. Are you kidding me? And a matter of fact, the civil rights lawyer, you put most ignorant cop. And he is. But you know what? Cops can be ignorant. They don't need to know the law. They can violate your rights. They can be tyrannical, ruining people's lives with their power and authority because there's no checks and balances. They have immunity. The DAs won't charge them. And cops are out of freaking control. I'm disgusted. And these blue line that want to come here and tell me, man, you, you were cop for 30 years. You should have the blue line. You, you know what it's like. I, I know what it's like to work. And, and sometimes you get bad press, and sometimes the community's pissed off at you. But you know what? I also know what it's like to do your damn job and not harass people and be a tax collector and use your power to hurt good Americans who are just going to work and trying to make a freaking living. Okay? So there's a big difference. So you blue line boot suckers that want to come here and trash me, knock yourself out. Because you're probably the same pussy like this guy out here writing bullshit tickets. So back to case law. Once he gives you... He writes a ticket. His traffic stop is terminated. It's done. Now, it may be the letter of the law is he has to hand you the ticket. I think the spirit of law and the intent of the ruling is this cop 
had terminated his stop. He was giving it to him, and he became contempt of cop when this guy laughed. So he puts him in cuffs and arrests him, tows his car, absolutely earning the hate Hall of Fame shit on this cop. What a piece of shit. Write you a citation for that. That's actually up to six months in jail. <laughs> I just wrote you a citation. I'm doing you a favor. This is what they teach in academy, selling a ticket. You make the guy think that it could have been worse. Uh, you know, th this is where they get into, you know, speeding is very dangerous. I've been to a lot of accidents and people die and I'm just out here trying to keep you. It's all bullshit. Like I said, you don't see cops writing tickets in the rain and in bad weather. They only write it when it's good weather when they get out. They don't give a shit about you, and it's not for your damn safety. It's because they're getting pressure to show activity, and they're getting heat, or they're not writing enough tickets, or, or, or they're not collecting enough revenue. It's all bullshit about your safety. During COVID, no cops contacted anybody. They were hiding like the cowards they were, and they didn't want to catch COVID. And guess what? There weren't people dying on the streets because they weren't writing tickets keeping us safe. Use your damn head, people. So here's where he laughs. You think it's funny, sir? I'll take the ticket, sir. So this guy's polite. He says, I'll take the ticket. And this cop, in his tyrannical world, how dare a pesky citizen laugh at his authority. I'll show you, you piece of shit. I'll put you in handcuffs, tow your car, give you an arrest record for the rest of your life that you were arrested. I'll show you for laughing. What a piece of shit cop this guy is. I know, but do you think this I'll is funny? This, I, I'm about to laugh. I can laugh all okay. Go ahead and step out here. Oh, no, you can't. Step out of here. So at this point, what the courts would rule is that he extended this traffic stop. He changed the... He changed the... the it, it's kind of like... Um, I give you a ticket and and I'm walking away and you go, fuck you, cop. And I turn around, I come back. Oh, you know what? Give me that ticket back. You're going to jail now. I'm not going to write you a ticket. This is why the cops used to have discretion because we hired cops that were community connected and that were part of the community and they didn't have to mandatory arrest. Discretion came so you didn't have to mandatory arrest somebody when a cop could use judgment and go, look, man, I don't want to take you to jail on this. Just go to court. So they gave cops discretion. Now that discretion has turned into arbitrary power to where now I can penalize or screw you or hold it over your head. And I'm a nice guy for fining you and giving you tickets and harassing you. But if you're not kissing my ass, then I get to use discretion and take you to jail. It's totally flipped the script, and it's absolutely outrageous. Sir, I'm asking you to step out of the... Am I being detained? Yes, sir, you are. Step out of the vehicle. So, at this point, because he was going to give him a ticket, the detention for the stop and the legal purpose for the stop, even though it was unlawful because it wasn't a crime, is over. It's done. And now he changes it because he got contempt of cop. Are you serious? This guy is driving a car... Looks like a family man, not some criminal. And this cop is going to try and ruin his life. Expose him to COVID, maybe get him stabbed in jail, put through the process, lifetime, lifetime arrest record, fingerprints on file, humiliation, searched, stripped of all his stuff because he laughed. Welcome to America, people. Out freaking racist. Place your hands behind your back for me. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Place your hands behind your back for oh, me. Oh, man. You're serious, brother. I'm not your brother. On the issue of whether there's a constitutionally protected right. Okay, so, uh, I don't, I, I watched this video a while ago, and I don't, you, you can go watch this video, and he does a follow-up here on, um, he goes through the legal stuff, and, and I'm telling you, this guy, the, the section he wrote him for is just total bullshit. So this was the follow-up update, uh, West Virginia's most ignorant cop arrested for laughing. And uh, I've got it on one and a half speed, so he's talking fast, but let's just watch what he says here, because he makes some good points. This officer who was writing him a ticket for the non-existent crime. About a month earlier, I posted the body cam footage taken by this police officer, J.D. Ellison, a deputy. This freaking cop is just disgusting.
disgusting to me. With the Nicholas County Sheriff's Department. That was the one titled West Virginia's Most Ignorant Cop. And people were shocked by what they saw, just as I was. My video went well over 1 million views. Others covered it as well. I'm not going to make you wait for the fantastic news about the appeal trial. The client was victorious. The conviction was overturned and thrown out. He was. So he did get it overturned and thrown out. If you watch this video, it's kind of bullshit because the prosecutor, like I always say, the prosecutor is part, cops and prosecutors are part of the prosecution team. Anything I do, the prosecutor defends because we're on the same team. I don't like it. I told you about the cop trying, you know, DA trying to get me to lie about a guy on a death penalty case. And I end up turning him in and they came after me and tried to screw me because I wasn't a team player. Uh, this is bullshit that a DA, after he saw this videotape, still tried to say it was a good stop. What an unethical DA. I don't know who the DA or prosecutor that did this. But he's just as unethical as this piece of shit cop. Vindicated, and I was proving correct all along about the law. Though that shouldn't really have been a difficult issue in the first place. You'll want to wait around to hear the details about the appeal trial, as well as what else I uncovered about the past conduct of this. Okay, so he goes into this guy, another speed, he's signing things that aren't his. Um, look, this guy got screwed. And uh, if anybody knows this guy, uh, you know, by all means, he's welcome to come on. And I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll donate all money and all funds that we collect and I'll, I'll do whatever. Go fund me, however we can raise money to help this guy. Cause he got screwed and he seems like a good dude that just fell under this tyrant of a cop. All right. So, uh, this is earning the hate hall of fame here, man. This dude is just a disgrace. Oh, look, he's got a little pa patch on his badge. Oh. One of his little blue brothers got killed, so we're going to cover up our badge because we're all tyrants and we all shit on American people now. And we just look at you as a revenue source and we're too scared and pussy to go after real criminals. So we'll just harass people that don't fight back. What a bully punk cop. All right, we'll end that there. Earning a hate hall of fame.